everyone, welcome to Art à la carte, and this is my submission for the YouTube Artist Collective's theme of steampunk. Normally when I get the themes, I have a lot of really good ideas and very quickly um, settle on the idea that I really want to work with, and not so much with this piece. Um, so a lot of the emotion that you see in this picture is what I felt throughout the creation of this entire piece. But I'll get into that a little bit more later in the video. First, I want to talk to you guys about the YouTube Artist Collective. If you guys haven't heard of this before, it's a group of YouTube artists that have gotten together. And every other month, we create a piece based on a theme in which you guys vote on. So you guys get to choose the theme. If you're interested in helping us choose the next theme, I'll leave a link to the YouTube Artist Collective's Facebook page. And as it gets closer to the time where we start working on the pieces, you'll see a poll go up and they will ask for you to vote. And we give you about three or four different choices to choose from and then you guys vote and the most popular one wins. So this month was Steampunk. I'm not exactly sure the full number of how many people are doing it this month. Uh, one, we've added a few new members and then We've also had a few mem members who have decided not to participate this month and just take a break. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to all of their YouTube channels in the description box below. So I really encourage you guys to, after you finish watching this video, go and check out their videos. Because um, it's really fun to get a common theme and then see how different artists interpret that theme. And it's probably one, one of my favorite videos that I post are the collective videos just because I really like seeing everyone else's work so much. It's so encouraging and I get so inspired and it encourages me to, to think outside of the box, to not just go with comfort zone, to really push myself to create something exciting and different and unique. So speaking of creating, let's talk a little bit about the creation of this piece. So the theme of steampunk is probably one of my favorite themes that we've had so far. I really like the last theme, but this one is something that I always enjoy creating. I initially wanted to create something with like a robot in it and actually did a really fun little thumbnail and really like the piece. I'm excited about the piece, but I didn't like the composition for it. Instead of just really rushing the piece and pushing it through, I decided to put that on the back burner. And I encourage you guys that if you have sketches that you really like, but there's just something about the sketch that isn't quite the way you want it, don't push it. And also don't give up on it. Sometimes I will just file a piece away in my work in progress. And then when I'm lacking inspiration or don't know what kind of piece to create, I'll go through that file. And usually I can find some really fun ideas um, to create with. So that is why there is not a lot of video for the sketching of this, just because I sketched so many different ideas. And not all the time did I have my camera running and actually was sketching this one and was almost done with it and went, I think this is it. And no, I have not recorded it. So I recorded the very, very last little part of the sketching. And then for whatever reason, I don't know, did not record anything in the inking in process. Mm. But it's okay because this video is already really, really long and uh, the inking in process was brutal. Let's just go ahead and focus on the coloring part of this. You will see at the very beginning of the video, I do a little color swatch where it kind of helps me pick out the costume colors. It's not something I normally have done in the past. Um, and I'm really glad I did it this time. I did not use any of the color swatches that I made, but it helped me eliminate color choices that I might have chosen that just really didn't have the emotion or feel that I wanted. Um, I like a lot of bright colors. And with Steampunk, you want to keep everything really kind of a cool color, very muted tones. Probably the brightest part in this piece is her hair. And I kind of wanted her hair to kind of pop a little bit and give a little bit of a warmth, but really wanted to try to keep everything kind of cool, especially with the character herself. Thank you. 
Now, the story behind this piece I wanted to create that had the kind of a theme of inventing. And I came up with an idea of um, the, the inventor's daughter. And the inventor himself is an amazing inventor. He's created tons of amazing things and he's really super popular and well known um, for his work. And his daughter has always kind of wanted to invent. He's kind of a tough act to follow. Not that he's unkind. The inventor loves his daughter. He's very sweet and kind and encouraging. But it can be hard if there is someone who's really good at something and you want to be good at something but you're not, it can be really, really frustrating. And I found that that theme really resonates a lot in my life as an artist and in my art journey, that I looked up to these amazing artists who could create just breathtaking and beautiful pieces. And I would sit down with all the intentions of creating this wonderful piece of art and it would just fail and I would get frustrated. And so I really kind of feel a kindred spirit to her as she's trying to create her very first steampunk wings and she just can't get the second wing to work right and it's just frustrating. So I wanted to kind of put that into the piece and then in the background um, to kind of tie it all together I wanted to do kind of a framework. So I decided to put a clock in the back and the clock represents that it takes time. That mastering a skill or even just learning the skill takes time. And it's normal to have those times when you get frustrated and upset, um, but don't give up. At the end of this piece, I really wanted to kind of push some of the elements with the clock. Sometimes in your art, you just have to jump in and take the risk and do something that either is going to make your picture look awesome or ruin it. And it's really scary when you're working on a deadline and you really don't have time to create a brand new piece if you ruin it. So I'm really glad I think it turned out really well at the end, but I decided to put a broken glass effect to the back of the clock. I didn't want a broken clock. I just wanted to look like the glass had fractured. And again, a lot of just uh, thought behind it, you know, that sometimes it feels like, you know, your world is cracking and caving in around you as you're you know, getting frustrated, but it's okay. <laughs> so, and again, I wanted to do that kind of to add into the element of just that crushing frustration that you get. I also decided to put a little bit of metallic paint on the actual brass parts of the drawing, so on her wings and some of the gears and on her tools. So it's really fun. The original will have this really cool kind of sheen to it, um, and I'm super excited. Speaking of original, the original will be for sale on my Etsy shop. That's the other fun thing about the YouTube Artist Collective is that everyone then sells the original, so you have a chance to pick up an original piece by one of the artists. So each of us will have our own shops and links in the description box below where you can go and check out those pieces. So I will have a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase this original. I also have prints of past YouTube Artists Collective pieces, prints of Beautiful Nightmare and Wicked Wonderland. I also have prints and a few originals of some of the other pieces that I've done. So have fun looking around my shop. And again, once you finish with all that, make sure to check out the other artists in the YouTube Artist Collective. In the end, I love how this piece turned out. I'm super excited to see everyone else's piece. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me as I created this piece. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!